Hey guys, today I am going to explain why I believe Anthony is going to plead out and why it's so important for the government for him to admit that he is guilty. So the government's probably not going to take any chances on this because Anthony has some type of record. He kept an Excel spreadsheet. He has a book of business. If the government's purpose is to make people whole, they need to know where these watches are and who they sold them to. So uh, this individual I made a video about, um, they wanted to clarify that their uncle purchased the watch. Everything was documented by taking pictures of his ID, making sure the guy was legit. Um, it doesn't matter at this point in time and towards the very bitter end, uh, even this guy, he understood that, hey, the tensions are high. Luis is not feeling good. And in fact, I would say uh, he's talking about Lizzie and Luis, and um, he's talking about uh, what Liz, right, and how they were uncomfortable with the scenario, which to me indicates that he probably should have known that something was wrong, right? Uh, so... Here's an interesting thing is what happens if you buy a watch from a dealer who is known to steal? And, you know, so there are different scenarios that can play that can be played out. But my overall takeaway is you're putting yourself in danger of the, having that watch confiscated. And you might be like, oh, well, everything was legit. And, and that's what he's saying here. Let me read you the post. He's saying that he everything was legit, but then why did you post here suggesting that you didn't feel comfortable? And then why would you post suggesting that, oh, I can't take it to a Rolex service anymore? That indicates that you understand the watch could not be legit, right? So responding to Lus's videos on my post on interaction with Anthony in TPG, as of this writing, Lus has uploaded two videos on YouTube regarding my two posts and the subsequent replies I made there that detailed my experience with Anthony and TPG shortly before the scandal broke and exposed it to the world. Now, let me make it very clear. You don't actually have to know the watch is stolen. If you buy a stolen item that you should have known was stolen, maybe due to the price point, maybe due to some other factors, who knows? Um, yeah, you're liable. Uh, pawn stores all the time face this type of liability. Now, they're a business. You got to probably go by state by state law. But if you were to sell a stolen watch and there was no way that, no way, it wasn't in the police report, the, the victim hadn't reported yet, something happened, right? They would still be liable. In fact, we see something exactly like this happen in Arizona where they're trying to pull up police report. Where there is, in this case, what Anthony claims is his stolen watch in an Arizona jewelry store, right? I mean, it's it's a battle. And like the police officer said, hey, you got to take it up civilly, right? You got to go to sue. And, and, and any lawsuit, any decision can, make, can be made. So any lawyer, including myself, can tell you. That when people get into lawsuit, it's very costly, it's very time consuming, it could take four or five years for this to resolve. And there are current lawsuits resolving. There is a situation with Levi, an individual who consigned two watches. That's the individual whose pregnant wife um, unfortunately had a miscarriage, probably due to the stress of losing um, that much money. And he had sent one watch to New York, he had sent one watch to California. And both of those dealers are being mentioned because he find he found that Levy, the plaintiff, found out who the dealers are, and he's trying to sue them. So if let's say let me just take my example for instance. Okay, I'm just going to say, let's say I can sign a watch with Anthony, and he stole it, and then later on I found out that your uncle bought the watch. I'm going to sue you. I 100% will sue you. Because I'm a lawyer, I know how the legal system operates, I'm going to force you to give me the watch, read some type of settlement, or hire a lawyer for four years to battle me in court. Because in my opinion, you should have known, because it wasn't like I haven't made videos about this in a while. There's not, there was, 
my argument, and again, the judge can, the judge and the jury can say I'm wrong, but I'm at least going to initial initiate the lawsuit, just like live under individuals have, because that's my only out. I, I know I have no recourse suing Anthony. I will sue Anthony to sue him so I can get testimony, text messages, any type of communication that he had with you, and a attempt to see if he told you it was stolen or something like that, which then would make my case a home run, right? So I'm, I'm just telling the truth how it is, right? Um, that uh, indeed, um, you're scared, you're, or your friend or whoever has this watch is scared to take it to the Rolex because he thinks it's stolen, or there's a chance that it's stolen. That is all I need to know. I would actually present this Reddit thing as evidence to the court. So you, they need him to plead guilty because once he pleads guilty and opens up his books they can go after all these watches that is why i believe anthony is going to get a plea deal it, it's a very simple look five million dollars has been stolen their job is to recover as much of it as possible that means they have to work with the guy who sold the stolen watches and that unfortunately is anthony and that's why they might cut him a deal so again, like I said, this to me makes a whole lot of sense because they need him to say, yes, I am guilty. Yes, I stole the watch, right? Um, and here are the people I sold that stolen watch to. Once that is done, game over. Game effing over, right? Because then they can go to those people and say, hey, well, did you know it was stolen watch? You know, Anthony sold it. In, in the specific case, right, where we know, we only know one case. We don't know what this guy bought the watch for. We don't know. He's keeping his case very murky, right? There's a reason that this Redditor is acting and behaving this way and not saying specific details because he is afraid that the watch is stolen or there's a potential chance. But in the cases we do know, Anthony has show, sold a, a watch for 50% off, 60% off, 70% off. So if I have an item that's $250,000, and that's what I tell you I believe the item is worth, I then go sell it to another dealer for 100000 That other dealer is looking at that item saying, hey, man, that's a really good price on that. Why are you giving it? Wouldn't you know, given Anthony's history as a criminal, as a felon, wouldn't you know his document? I mean, he's only told you a million times that he's a felon, right? His very first introduction video is, hey guys, I'm a felon. He's only told you a million times that this dude's gonna steal watches, right? And and you, and then now he's gonna discount. The first thing I would say, oh, the watch is fake, right? Any reasonable, logical, and, and that's the standard that you're gonna to have to apply. Would a, what would a reasonable, logical human being believe? Would they believe the watch is stolen? Well, yeah, if he's offering it at a 70% discount, I would, I would first think it's fake. And then I would say, okay, this is real. I would get it checked out. It's real. Huh. That's weird, right? Like, why would you give me this discount? You owe me, owe me $100,000. Why are you giving me a richer mill worth a quarter million dollars? Did, I mean, so it's not what you actually know because that's impossible to prove in court because people are liars. It is what a reasonable person in your situation should have known if it is stolen or not. And that's why when I applied this to Darby and Liz, I roast them because they should have known this was a Ponzi scheme, but they, they continued on. I mean, I, this is why I'm absolutely certain that the government cannot risk him being innocent, even if there's a 0.001% chance. They need him to say, I'm guilty, I take the plea deal, part of the plea deal is admitting his guilt, and then they go after all the $5 million. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a damn if he's in jail, right, if I'm one of these victims. I want to be made whole. I'm sure they've talked to him. Bob and Wesley have talked to the FBI. Um, I'm sure that they have emphasized, I need my money back, right? Money makes the word go around, does it not? Anyway, that is it, <laughs> guys.